Retirement is increasingly out of reach for many Americans, with experts estimating millennials may need $1.4 million to retire comfortably. Yet some billionaires, despite their immense wealth, choose not to retire at all. Why are these ultra-rich refusing to step away from their businesses and enjoy their golden years? The answers may surprise you. The global billionaire class is growing older, with the average age now 63 years old. Male billionaires average 63 years, while females average 62 years. Notably, Forbes reports there are no self-made billionaires under 30. All in that age group have inherited wealth. In fact, 42% of the world's 3,194 billionaires are over 70 years old. Many, like 75-year-old Bernard Arnault, who's the richest person in the world as of 2024, continue actively leading their companies well into old age. The age of retirement for billionaires often exceeds average life expectancy as they remain driven to grow their fortunes further. This aging trend among the ultra-wealthy raises questions about the future concentration of power and its implications for the next generation. Many billionaires are unable to fully retire due to the nature of their business ownership. In fact, 69% of the Forbes 400 list of billionaires started their own companies. The remaining billionaires sourced their wealth from inheritance, investments, or executive positions. For these self-made billionaires, selling their shares or generating sufficient cash flow from their businesses to fund retirement can be a complex endeavor. Some opt to take out loans against their company equity instead and use this to fund their retirement funds. The average company founder is around 60 years old when they begin considering retirement. But the rise of private equity funds specializing in buying businesses from founders has increased by 800% in recent years. This allows billionaires to monetize their companies without fully stepping away. However, earnout clauses often require founders to remain with the company for one to three years post-sale, as in the case of former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer. Funding retirement through ongoing business cash flow can also constrain a company's future growth potential. Billionaires like Elon Musk have even used their company shares as collateral for personal loans, further tying their financial futures to the continued success of their enterprises. For many of the world's wealthiest individuals, the choice to keep working may be less about desire and more about the practical realities of their business ownership. Many billionaires reject early buyout offers for their companies, even when the sums involved are staggering. This is often driven by a strong belief in their business's long-term potential, as well as a psychological addiction to seeing their wealth continually grow. For some ultra-wealthy individuals, the act of working and building their empire provides a profound sense of purpose and accomplishment that money alone cannot replace. The contrast between Tom from MySpace and Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook illustrates this dynamic well. Tom Anderson sold his stake in MySpace for $580 million, allowing him to live a comfortable life. In contrast, Zuckerberg, who was worth over $150 billion at age 39, chose to remain actively involved in growing Facebook rather than cashing out. The thrill of building and expanding their empires appears to be a key driver for many of the world's wealthiest individuals, even when they have more than enough to retire. Take the example of Donald Trump, who would actually be richer if he had just invested his inheritance into the S&P 500 instead of starting any companies or developments of his own. Just take a look. The green bars represent Trump's net worth over time, while the black line would have been the value of his inheritance had it just been invested in the market. This psychological attachment to work and wealth accumulation helps explain why the average age of billionaires continues to rise as they remain actively engaged in their businesses well into their golden years. For this elite class, the allure of growing their fortunes may outweigh the temptation to simply enjoy their riches. CEOs work an average of 62.5 hours per week, significantly more than the typical 44-hour American work week. To manage their demanding schedules, many have staff to handle personal chores, reducing off-time burdens. However, the CEO role involves high-profile decisions and public appearances, with prestige and flexibility that can make retirement less appealing. CEOs often have significant control over their schedules and the ability to shape their company's direction. Additionally, billionaire CEOs may be reluctant to retire due to the complexities of monetizing their business ownership and a psychological attachment to wealth accumulation. Retirement isn't just about wealth, it's a mindset. While many struggle to save, some billionaires actively choose to keep working, driven by a mix of factors. For some ultra-wealthy, work provides a profound sense of purpose that money alone cannot replace. The practicalities of business ownership also make it hard to fully step away. Psychological attachments to wealth and reluctance to give up power are key. Many reject buyout offers, driven by belief in their company's potential 
and an addiction to growing their fortunes. The decision to retire is highly personal, offering insights into the billionaire mindset. To see how close you are to becoming a billionaire, check out this video on why net worth explodes after 100K.